Let's get right to it. Someone asked me the other day, Mike, what do you do all day? That's a good question. Let's do a day in the life of me. Not very exciting, but it's going to help you understand a few aspects of data engineering. Right now, I'm on a data engineering contract. I was hired to take all the various data in the company and centralize it into a data warehouse for analytics. The company needs to be able to run reports on centralized data and build machine learning models against that data. Right now, their data is all over the place. So they've decided to use the data warehouse to centralize their data. The data warehouse is a cloud data warehouse called Snowflake. Snowflake is a data warehouse vendor that works on the big three cloud providers. Snowflake can be used on AWS, Azure, and GCP. AWS is Amazon's cloud, Azure is Microsoft's, and GCP is Google's. Right now, AWS and Azure are used most in the real world. Many of the data sources are relational data stores, but they're slowly adding other data sources. The ugly orange color denotes the data sources that aren't relational databases. Everything is in AWS. If you aren't familiar with that term, AWS stands for Amazon Web Services. It's Amazon's cloud. The data from these data sources needs to be moved on a continual basis. When data is added to those data sources, that data needs to move also. The next question you might have is, how do you move all that data from all those different data sources? It's a good question, and it's not easy. Before I got there, they were using an Amazon product called DMS, which stands for Database Migration Services, to move the data and keep it synchronized. This caused so many problems, they began looking for other tools and settled on a vendor called Fivetran. We use Fivetran to continually keep all the data centralized into our Snowflake data warehouse. All right, now we have a high level of what I do. Let's find out what I did today. This morning, I began setting up a Fivetran connector for a Postgres SQL instance. Postgres is a relational database. There are a ton of moving parts to this. What tables am I going to move? What's the synchronization frequency? Does the user exist in the Postgres with the rights to move the data? What database on Snowflake am I going to move the data into? Once everything is up and running, I'll need to grant users rights in Snowflake so they can see this data. I have a checklist of things I need in order to set up each connector. Most of this comes from the vendor, which is nice. It never works on the first try, though, and today was no exception. I've set up around five Postgres connectors so far, but today I encountered a new error. So, off to Google to find what the error means and how to correct it. Now, this wasn't a Fivetran error. This wasn't because of the connector. Because Fivetran is so new, if it were a connector error, I would have to open a ticket with Fivetran and work that out with them to fix it. This error is specific to Postgres on AWS. So, if I can't fix this error, then I'll need to open a ticket with AWS. I'm about 90% sure I can fix this one. I think I can simply add more memory to fix it. Now, this is going to most likely require a reboot of the RDS instance, and that means I need to coordinate with all the other AWS teams. It's a production box, so I need to open a ticket within the company and let everyone know what I'm doing and why. Most IT shops do their work with tickets. A ticket is documentation on what needs to be done and why, and who's doing it. Now, because I explained this to you so quickly, you might assume all this took 15 minutes. Nope, not how it works. Because there are so many policies in place, this problem took about three hours. And there's no resolution, because I can't reboot the RDS instance. It's a production box. Therefore, I'm going to have to create a ticket, add the memory, and then reboot it off hours. I know, it's not very exciting, but it's what the real world looks like. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. And don't forget to have a great day.